at Big Lots yesterday, I bought myself a big clock. Battery operated. I got it sitting on top of a window shade. So I can see it. Easy to see that clock. This is a hundred times better than those stupid electronic digital clocks. It takes one battery, and I guess the battery is going to last a long time. It's big, it's easy to read. And when the power goes out, our flickers, the clock keeps running. Unlike those stupid uh, electronic digital clocks. I get a power blip. Bump, bump, bump. That's it. That's all it is. The clock has to be reset. What a hassle. Especially if you have two or three or four of them in different rooms in the house. These digital clocks, you got to go around and reset all these clocks. And then after you reset it, 15, 20 minutes later, pip, 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 power flicker. Well, your clocks went out again. Now you go around and reset these clocks. Of course, they tell you, oh, put a battery in it, 9 volt, put a 9 volt battery in it, and that's the cure for the clock uh, flashing 12. Well, I've put batteries in these clocks. I don't know about yours. Mine don't work. I put batteries in it, then I unplug the clock, which is simulating a power outage, and the clock goes to 12 o'clock. So that whole thing about the battery, I think, is just uh, an advertising gimmick to get you to buy the clock, when it actually probably is not even wired to anything inside the clock. Well, maybe it is wired because I turned on the radio. The radio works with the battery. The clock doesn't work with the battery. Anyways, I got this uh, clock, $6 at big lots. I am happy with this clock. Power outage comes, boop, boop, boop. This clock keeps running.